perfect storm hit. Went a thousand miles in the wrong direction. You know, winds tend to blow the same way, okay? But these didn't. <laughs> Normally, storms go from west to east. This storm went from east to west, smashed into New England, specifically hit the president's personal home. Hmm. The next day, the new paper articles appeared entitled One-on-One -on -one Peace Talks Next on the same page that said East Coast Hit Hard by Rare Storm. And people think there's not a God. People think God didn't talk to them. <coughs> Next day, judgment on USA. August 24, 1992, Madrid Peace Conference started to discuss the issue of Palestinian self-rule in the Israeli-occupied territories to divide the land of Israel. Leslie, would you turn that fan on me? I'm cooking up here. <clears throat> August 24, 1992, the Category 5 Hurricane Andrew smashed into southern Florida. And hit Louisiana a few days later. The worst natural disaster ever this time hit America. 180,000 Americans were left homeless. $30 billion in damage. Why? Because they're just talking about splitting Israel. August 26, New York Times headlines on the same page. Bush's gains for convention, convention early evaporate. Let me try it again. Bush's gains from convention nearly evaporate in the latest poll. Same page. Israel offers plan for Arabs to rule in occupied lands, thousands homeless in Florida. In other words, you kick my people out of their land, I'm going to kick your people out of your land. And some people want to say, oh, well, we're the new Israel. Uh, sorry, that's not what God says. Mm -hmm. September 1, 1993. Again, New York Times headline, same front page. Israel and PLO ready to declare joint recognition. Hurricane hits Outer Banks as thousands seek safety in safety inland. January 16, 1994, they meet discussing giving the whole line <laughs> Golan Heights to Syria. January 1794, 6.8 earthquake rocks Los Angeles, causing $25 billion in damage, second largest natural disaster in history. <coughs> August 9, 2001, suicide bomber killed 19 people in Jerusalem. And 32 days later, 9-11 hits. You can read all of these in detail. As a matter of fact, I'm going to skip on through some. So, when does the meteor hit? Uh, is it going to be as soon as they put ink on paper saying that Israel is going to split? Maybe. But I hope it's after the last Jew leaves the areas that they have. <coughs> in other words, I hope that God will be long-suffering and give us as much time as possible. Israel was celebrating its Independence Day. April 19, 2010, Obama announced it would no longer automatically vote with Israel in matters of self-defense. The very next day, the Deepwater Horizon had a blowout in what was supposed to be America's blessing turned out to be America's curse. In the bottom right corner, you notice one of those Illuminati cards that says, Oil Spill. This Deepwater Horizon sank. This well gushed for pretty close to 100 days caused all kinds of devastation out there. It was supposed to be our blessing. You realize that one well, they say, could have supplied over half of the United States petroleum, probably lowering our gasoline prices. But because we were messing with the apple of God's eye, that blessing was taken away and turned into a curse. Oil spill continued for 85 days. Obadiah 115 <laughs> says, as you have done to Israel, it's going to be done unto you. Don't mess with Israel. A couple of newspaper headlines of the fall of America. Kerry has set a goal to have the Palestinian state happen by April 29, 2014. Did you hear me? In other words, the United States. Now, as we speak, Kerry is over in Israel twisting the arms of Netanyahu, trying to get him to give the Palestinians a state. And he says his goal is to have it done by April 29, 2014. Now, I don't think that the meteor is going to hit this year or next year. And I can give you some other good guesses. And with uh, maybe a dollar, of course, these days, maybe five dollars and get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> Used to be a quarter. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so, what if God sends the meteor of the day right after we force Israel to split? In other words, if the meteor is coming to split Israel, how long after we split Israel will it be the meteor. You want to know when the meteor strikes? You watch. You watch Israel. When we split Israel, are you hearing me? When we split Israel, did you get that? 
that one fly over your head? And when, when we split Israel, what if the media causes a tsunami? Split of America and the Golden Gate Bridge to fall. Could the headline that day read, Catastrophe Hits America? Could, could it? <clears throat> this is NASA graphic showing all the orbits of 1,400 known asteroids. That's what's circling around us now. The reason we haven't had an asteroid strike like this in recent history is because of God. So bringing one of them down to hit exactly the right time and place as he wants, not a problem. He threw the stars in place with his finger and called them by name. Heaven is his throne, the earth is his footstool. And we're going to wonder whether he can send an asteroid? Could the next headline be, one of America's greatest times of need? Does it seem reasonable that America would call for help from the nations and then would Israel refuse to help? Well, why would Israel refuse to help America? We just split their land. Israel refuses to help America. What if the Arabs then were to see their opportunity? What if they were to then turn and say, Hey guys, America has been split. This thing has done devastation. And could they, they, they say that that's their opportunity? And could the headline read, Israel has attacked America sends troops? Since most Americans have not read, I will bless them to bless you and curse them to curse you. Could the next headline then read, Chaos reigns as Americans protest help to Israel. Would God regard this as America turning against Israel and destroy her? Meaning, could the next headline be, the fall of America would start with an internal revolution. In other words, the splitting of Israel caused the splitting of America. The splitting of America caused by the media. Wow. These 49 verses talk about one of Israel. But I will stand for permission when we do them, but especially when we have a lot of people, maybe not do it with them because we don't want other people doing it. Yeah, so that was one of the things like, okay. yeah. I hope other people aren't thinking they can just do that. Uh, I mean, church is one thing. Yeah.